Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Scott with Integrity. This is the video that you've all been waiting for, but the video that was really hard to make because it's something I never do. But it just so happened tonight, I was plugging my iPhone into my computer and I thought this is the moment. So this is how you transfer photos from an iPhone to a PC. So what you wanna do is get your phone, connect it, to your charging cable, connect the other end of the charging cable to a USB port on your computer. And here's what's gonna happen. Your computer's gonna beep, because it's gonna recognize the device. It will probably ask you what you want to do. Um, I already told my computer initially that it should do nothing. So what happens here is I'll open up my file explorer, click on this PC. And my phone is not yet recognized because, because I'm not entirely sure why, to be honest with you, it should be recognized and it's not. So I'm just going to troubleshoot my way through this. First thing I'm going to do is unplug my phone. I'm going to also unplug the USB cable, plug that back in and plug my phone back in. And now it works. Okay. So what you'll see is you'll see your phone connected like this, just like any other drive. Open up its internal storage. It's DCIM. All these folders are folders of photos. So what I'm going to do, change my search, change by date modified so I can see. So look, I've got photos in here from you know, seven o'clock tonight, going all the way back to, you know, whenever. So if I wanted to copy all of these, what I would, what I would do, highlight all these, copy them, and then save them to your local disk, paste them. Now I'm not actually removing them. I'm copying and pasting them. You could, um, you could cut and paste them if you wanted. I don't see this copying yet. This computer is pretty fast, but it also has some weird hangups at times. See, there, there it goes. You gotta be patient sometimes. I'm not patient with computers. So it's gonna copy them all. It's going from a solid state drive to a solid state drive, but it is a lot of data. And But if you wanted to actually take them off your phone, what you would wanna do is go into your phone Find the photos you want. Let's just assume you, you want them all. Right click and cut. Okay, cut will actually remove them. Copy just makes a copy. And that's all there is to it. It's gonna copy all these to my computer. There's no way it's gonna take an hour and 50 minutes. I think that's just a bad estimate by Windows, but that's how you do it. Um, you should really be using iCloud to back up all your photos. And if you're just using the free five gigs a month of iCloud backup, you should really spend the $1 a month to get 50 gigs. And then you don't ever have to worry about backing up your photos again. But this is one way to do it.